Hi everybody, this is Lindsay from WindingRoadCrochet.com and this is the video tutorial for the Desert Sunset Shaw rows 12 through 21. To start row 12, we will chain 3, 1, 2, 3, turn our work, and work 2 double crochet into the very first stitch. So 1 and 2. chain and skip your next stitch and work a cluster stitch in the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through and repeat that three times. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two and then yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook to create your cluster stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch and then work a cluster stitch into the following stitch. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. Chain one. And you'll continue repeating this until you reach the center point where we have our chain two space. So coming up close to the chain two space, we're going to skip a stitch and work a cluster stitch in the second stitch from the chain two space. Yarn over, pull through all the loops in your hook, chain once more, skip the last stitch before the chain two space, and then into the chain two space you will work two double crochet chain two and two more double crochet into the chain two space. So this is our second double crochet, chain two, one and two, and then two more double crochet, one and two. Now moving along to the other side to repeat what we did, we will chain one, skip that first stitch, and work a cluster stitch into the next stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, and work a cluster stitch into the following stitch. and then continue repeating this until you're close to the very end of this row. Now I've chained one and I'm just working my last cluster stitch for this row. Complete this cluster stitch, chain one, skip the second to the last stitch and work two double crochet into the very last stitch of this row. And there is row 12. Row 13, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Turn our work. Work two double crochet into the first stitch. Work a double crochet into the next stitch. And then starting our repeat, we're going to work one double crochet into the chain space. one double crochet into the top of the cluster stitch. And I like to work into this little triangle here. Work a double crochet into the next chain space. And then repeat that all the way along the row until you reach the very last chain space here. 
So we're working a double crochet into the last cluster stitch here. We will work a double crochet into that chain space. And then we'll work a double crochet into the next two stitches. Now into our chain 2 space, we are going to work 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet. So here's our first double crochet, our second double crochet, chain 1 and chain 2, then our next double crochet, and our last double crochet. Work a double crochet into the next two stitches. And now we'll start the same repeat again. Work a double crochet into the chain space, and then work a double crochet into the top of the cluster stitch. Double crochet into the chain space. and do that all the way until you reach the very end of this row. When you reach the end of the row, you're going to work a double crochet into the last chain space, work a double crochet into the next stitch, and then work two double crochet into your very last stitch. One, and two. And that completes this row. So row 14, we are going to work some of these open stitch work here. And we are going to start that by chaining three. Turn your work. Yarn over and work two stitches into the very first stitch. Two double crochet into your first stitch. Now we will start a repeat of chain one, skip the next stitch, and double crochet into the next stitch. So that will give us a nice open stitch work here. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and work a double crochet into the following stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, and work a double crochet into the following stitch. And then repeat this until you reach your chain 2 in the center of your shawl. You'll work your last double crochet of the repeat into the second stitch from the chain 2 space, chain 1, and work 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet into the chain 2 space. So our second double crochet. chain one, chain two, get your yarn back on your hook, and work two more double crochets into this chain two space. From here you are going to chain one and skip the next stitch, work a double crochet into the following stitch, and then continue that repeat until we reach the end of this row. So chain one, skip a stitch, and work a double crochet into the following stitch. So we've reached the end of our row. We're going to chain one and skip the second to the last stitch, and work two double crochet into your very last stitch. One, and two. This will be our double crochet increase at the very end. And there you have finished your row and you can see we have a nice open stitch pattern on this row. Moving right along to row 15, we'll start our row with a chain three just like every other row. Turn your work 
and work two double crochet into the very first stitch. This is your double crochet increase. Now start our repeat with a double crochet into the next stitch. From here we are going to chain one and skip all of these chain spaces. So work a chain one, skip this chain space, and work a double crochet into the double crochet of the previous row. Chain one again, skip the chain space, and work a double crochet into the next double crochet of the previous row. And continue repeating this until you run out of chain spaces. So we've reached the corner, chain one, double crochet into the next stitch, and then you will chain one, skip the next double crochet, and work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, into the chain two space. So here's our second double crochet, chain one and chain two, work the next double crochet and then the last double crochet into the chain 2 space. From here we will chain 1, skip the next stitch and work into the following stitch a double crochet, chain 1, skip the chain space, work a double crochet into the double crochet of the previous row, and continue with this repeat until we reach almost to the end of this row. So we're at the last chain space. We will chain one and skip that chain space, work a double crochet into the second to last stitch of the row, and then work two double crochet into the last stitch of the row. So one and two. Now you have two rows of open stitch work. Moving on to row 16, we're going to chain three, turn our work, and work two double crochet into the very first stitch. This is another row of open stitch work. Since we have two stitches here, we're going to start with a chain one, skip the next stitch, and work into the following stitch. And this is where we're starting our repeat. Chain one, skip the chain space, and work into the next stitch. And you will repeat this until you reach the chain two space at the center of your shawl. We're coming up to the center of our shawl. We're going to chain one, and get our yarn back on our hook, chain one, skip the chain space, work a double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, and start working into the chain two space. In the chain two space, we will work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So chain one, chain two, work two more double crochet. Chain one, skip your next stitch and work a double crochet into the following stitch. From here, we'll go back to doing our repeat chain one, skip the chain space, work a double crochet into the next double crochet stitch of the last row, and just continue this till we reach the end of this row. When you make it to the last chain space of the last row, chain one and skip the chain space, work into the double crochet, 
chain one and skip the second to the last stitch and work two double crochet into the very last stitch. And that is the end of that row. So we have three rows of the open stitch work. Moving right along, we're going to row 17 now, chain three and turn our work and work two double crochet into the very first stitch. One and two. Work a double crochet into the next stitch. And then for this row, we're going to be working a double crochet into the chain space and a double crochet into the next stitch and repeat that until you reach the chain two space. So you're working a double crochet in both the chain spaces and into all the double crochet stitches of the previous row. So we've reached our last chain space. We'll double crochet into the chain space, double crochet into each of the next two stitches, And then working in the next chain two space, we are going to work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Chain one, chain two, two more double crochet into the chain two space. Now work a double crochet into the next two stitches. One double crochet into this stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch, and then continue our repeat of double crochet into the chain space and double crochet into the next stitch. And repeat that until you reach almost the end of this row. Work a double crochet into the last chain space. Work a double crochet into the next stitch. And then work two double crochet into the very last stitch. And that completes this row. Starting row 18, we are going to chain three and turn our work. Work two double crochet into the first stitch and then you will work one double crochet into every stitch along this row until you reach your chain two space. So it's just pretty much a solid row of double crochet until we reach that chain two space. So I'm working a double crochet into the last stitch before the chain two space. Work two double crochet into the chain two space. You'll see how we have a nice full double crochet row here. Then we will chain two, one and two, turn and work two more double crochet into the chain two space. Now on the other side, you'll just work a double crochet into each stitch until we reach the last stitch of this row. When you reach the end of the row, work a double crochet in the second to the last stitch and work two double crochet into your very last stitch. One and two. You have a double crochet increase here and there is that solid row. So here's our shawl so far. 
to start row 19, we will chain 3, 2, 3, and turn our work. We're going to double crochet into the two double crochet into the very first stitch. And then we will start our repeat. Chain one, skip a stitch, and work a cluster stitch by yarning over, pulling up a loop into the following stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over, and pull through all the loops on the hook another chain, skip the next stitch, and work a double crochet into the following stitch. So it'll be a four stitch repeat. So repeat again, chain one, skip a stitch, yarn over and make a cluster stitch, yarn over, pull through all the loops, chain one, skip a stitch, work a double crochet into the following stitch and keep repeating this till we get very close to the chain two point at the center. Here we're going to work our last cluster stitch in the third stitch from the chain two space. chain one, skip the next stitch and work a double crochet into the last stitch before the chain two space. From here you're going to chain one, work a cluster stitch into the chain two space. chain two, work another cluster stitch into the chain two space, and then chain one and work a double crochet into the first stitch right here. And then from here you're going to continue repeating your four stitch repeat. So chain one, skip and cluster stitch, chain one, skip and double crochet. And continue doing this until we reach the end of the row. Skip a stitch and work your double crochet. And then just repeat. So we're just working our last repeat here, going to chain one, skip a stitch and work a cluster stitch. Chain one and work two double crochet into the very last stitch. All right, and then you have completed your row. All right, so here we are on row 20. Chain three to start your row and turn your work. By now our shawl is getting some pretty good size on it. So we are going to double crochet twice into the first stitch. And in this row, we're going to double crochet into every chain space, cluster stitch, and double crochet stitch along the row here. So into the clusters, just every stitch along the row. So double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the chain space, double crochet into the top of the cluster stitch, 
I use that little triangle right there to go into, double crochet into the next chain space, and double crochet into the next double crochet of the previous row. And you'll simply repeat that, double crochet into the chain space, into the cluster, into the chain space, and into the double crochet until you reach your chain two point. All right, so we're working our last stitches. We're gonna just double crochet into this chain space, double crochet into the top of this cluster stitch, and then we will work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet into our chain two space. Second double crochet, chain one and chain two, double crochet once on this side, double crochet twice, and our point is complete. So moving down the other side, we'll double crochet into the top of the cluster stitch, double crochet into this chain one space here. double crochet into the top of the double crochet, double crochet into the chain space, and simply repeat that until you hit the end of the row. So as we reach the end of this row, we're going to double crochet in the last cluster stitch double crochet into the last chain space, double crochet into the second to last double crochet of this row, and then work two double crochet into the very last stitch. And that is the end of row 20, and you can see our yarn has changed colors to a little bit of a lighter gray now. Starting row 21, we are going to chain 3, and turn our row. 2 double crochet into the very first stitch, and this is a solid double crochet row, so you will double crochet into every stitch until you reach the chain 2 center. So just double crochet into every single stitch. Once we reach the chain 2 center, you will just do 2 double crochet, chain 2, two double crochet into the chain two center point. So one, two double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochet, and then continue to double crochet into each stitch until you reach the very last stitch of this row. So I'm just working a double crochet into the second to last stitch of this row, and then we'll work two double crochet into the very last stitch and that will complete row 21. And you can catch the next video to get the next set of rows for the Desert Sunset Shawl. If you like these videos, please let me know in the comments below, as well as hit the subscribe button so you are notified of my next videos. And check out my YouTube channel to see what other patterns I have video tutorials for.